the microbes itself are, are quite uh, robust. They can take all kinds of sugars and turn these into oil. And then the final work is done in our next BTL, BTL process that turns these oils into the product. And we can tweak the, the process parameters so that we always get the same quality product. Straw as an agricultural residue, that has a lot of potential. And I think the biggest thing is that that's an underused material in Finland and in most countries. And um, uh, quite significant amounts of straw can be collected from the fields in a sustainable manner, so it doesn't harm the soil structure. We have to find, find new sources and we have to dig into all, all kinds of, of raw materials and, and agricultural residues, they are there every year. They come and that's why they are a very good potential for us. We have the flexibility. Ten different feedstocks are going in more potentially uh, to produce uh, our, our end product, which uh, has lots of different applications. So at this uh, microbial oil process, we take uh, raw material, which is typically a lignocellulose based raw material like uh, straw or, or bagasse. And uh, in order to, to transform it into, into advanced biofuel, we first have to, have to make it into oil. And we do that with the, with the help of microbes. So first we take the straw, uh, we, we turn it into sugar, uh, soluble sugar fractions which we feed to the microbes and, and the microbes in turn um, turn these sugars into oil and the oil is is typically suitable for our next BTL process. You're gonna need a lot of the raw material so you need to have a diverse base or pool of raw material that you can choose from so for example, straw you typically have only available in, in certain uh, part of the year. So you might want to have more different sort of raw materials for, for use in, in different parts of the year.